If you think I may be talking about you, work on becoming a leader. Work on your self-esteem. You shouldn't be a grown person following anybody. You hear me? All right, and Deborah's still hating. She's smudging me. Dear heart, smudging doesn't really work like that, okay? But I have a lot of my witch sisters that look out for me. I'll make sure they send you some help, okay, dear heart? We got you. It's coming. Help is on the way, all right? Thank you, Neptune Marat. You know what? I'm going to have to call you one day so I stop botching your name. But I believe it's Napta Limara, okay, Napta Limara, and I'm probably botching it. Sister girl, get at me on Facebook, send me a voice note, say, bitch, this is how you say my name, so I don't mess it up no more, okay? I don't miss shit, and I'm going to just leave it at that, okay, bitch? Tasha K is the one who's getting dragged. <laughs> really? Really, bitch? Really? Now, narcissism is actually more common than we think. And most anti-social uh, personality disorders, they run about one in 25 people. So you want to sit here and expose people with lies. I'm exposing you with the truth, with your own truth that comes out your own fucking mouth. Well, I was just like me getting on the internet saying I'm the best at what I do, and there's other bloggers, and they've been doing this longer. Of course, they're gonna have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something that would be a regular disagreement with most people becomes World War III with a narcissist. Something that most people wouldn't even notice becomes a horrible crime, an unforgivable misstep in the narcissist's eyes. They go from 0 to 60 almost instantaneously, and they will keep attacking until they've won and beaten their opponent into a retreat. What made me turn a little bit off from Tasha K was the fact that she started bullying that, um, that Caucasian woman saying that she stole her, her wine concept. That's when it started, where I started to fall back. But I still respected her, I still watched her channel, I still commented, always was ignored. Bitch, bitch, bitch! Seeing a person who's trying to find their footing and they're willing to step on anybody to get that moment. When I can't believe what comes out of your mouth and I have to think twice about it, why am I watching you? What is the point of me watching your channel? I would binge watch these narcissistic videos in front of my ex to the point where he was paying attention, okay? And I would accuse him of being a narc. Guess what he did? He blocks me on social media. And I asked somebody that was following him for me to look at his page. And he was posting stuff about narcissism. He was posting videos on narcissism and he said that every woman he's ever been with was a narc and that you gotta be careful for these people, they're dangerous, they're da 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 da, -da whatever. Everything that I was saying to him, he posted. So guess what? People are gonna think I'm a narc and he's the empath. So, once somebody has that knowledge of what narcissism is, I feel like they use it. They use it to fool people. Talking about the narcissistic smear campaign. So what happens is the victim typically shuts down the narcissist because the narcissist has, for example, crossed certain boundaries. Yes! So we did that shit! One lucky wino tonight! Talking about the narcissistic smear campaign. So what happens is the victim typically shuts down the narcissist because the narcissist has, for example, crossed certain boundaries. The narcissist it becomes vengeful and full of rage and reacts to the victim. <laughs> this could be out of narcissistic injury or just like plain revenge or just to, you know, the victim has become privy to the narcissist game. The narcissist doesn't know what to do and so they have to shut the victim down. The abuser attempts to persecute and or paint the victim as the villain. So the narcissist is then flipping the reputation of themselves onto the victim. So this could be a form of projection. And you notice the little YouTubers that are making videos on her behalf? These are the motherfuckers that she shouted out, Lioness of Judah. Yeah, I'm, I'm shouting people out from my small channel. Go ahead, get your numbers up. Lioness of Judah. You gotta, 
But you got to think. And when I saw this, I said, you shot not a bitch that made a page on me. I was talking to um, Linus to Judah. And she's a sweetheart. Like, I, I love her. Um, she was the one who was the I Am Hater Star Marie page, and she ended up getting flagged or whatever, so she has a new page. Today I will be talking about how the narcissist loves to copy you because they have no identity of their own. Being in the shoes of a narcissist, if you really think about it, it's a very sad thing because they have no self-identity whatsoever. They have no creativity. They have no original ideas or thought. So they have to mimic you to feel better about their sad, pathetic, empty lives. Because at the end of the day, they are just a meat suit, empty inside, empty shells with no real feelings inside and nothing to show for. Email me at, what's the email, Sister Patterson? It's Bimbo, help me ho at gmail.com. So if you have a situation going on in your life, you can email me at bimbo, help me ho at uh, gmail.com. Right now, I want to get to this email. What's wrong with the shit we done heard today? He can't believe that shit. Daddy, Daddy, I'm going to need you to sit in your seat, okay? We got a lot of shit to talk about. Daddy said, fuck that. See, narcissists use this method of crying. Um, I've never seen real floods of tears. It's almost like... In this case, it's almost like their tear ducts are constipated and they're like pushing it out and one tear comes out. One itty bitty tear comes out, but it's accompanied by this, this over emotional response of how, how could you be such a bad person to think I would mean this when I said this awful thing to you. Now, let me tell you something. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Yeah, I was literally crying. I'm about After the photo proof indeed proves that Tasha K did use Tammy Rivera's daughter's photo, Tasha K did not apologize. She actually put the blame on one of her newer employees. That's what narcs do best. Shift the blame. The narcissist's fake apology. Many people believe narcissists don't apologize at all, and that is technically true. An apology is, at the very least, an admission of wrongdoing, if not an expression of remorse. And this is not something you will hear from a narcissist, except in times when it is absolutely unavoidable. However, it is not correct to say that narcissists never utter the words, I'm sorry. Many do, and they may even believe they're actually apologizing, but because they lack remorse or empathy, their apology is often what we call a non-apology apology or a faux apology. A faux apology is a statement that sounds like an apology but does not actually express remorse or admit any wrongdoing. It's a way of trying to achieve forgiveness without admitting fault. It's the classic, oh I'm sorry you got upset type of apology. It's a manipulation, this is not an apology. Because narcissistic people don't actually understand or acknowledge the emotions of other people, and because they believe they are the victim in any and all situations, they don't generally believe they've done anything wrong when it comes to other people. They're simply going through the motions of what they think they're supposed to do. If someone says you wronged them and you want them to let you back into their good graces, you apologize. It's not an admission of guilt for the narcissist and it's not an expression of remorse. It's a means to an end. This is why they'll often say things like, I already apologize, what else do you want? Even though they will continue to defend their behavior after they've apologized. They don't realize that doing that makes the apology completely meaningless. It's as if they believe the simple act of saying, I'm sorry, means everything is okay now. This is actually not unlike the way a child thinks. I did what you asked, but it's still not okay. Why? This is because the narcissist has no understanding of why they should apologize. Your idea of why they should apologize and their idea of why they should apologize, totally different. Cardi Shine, now I've said this before. Every time he does something for Cardi, he has to do something for himself. I don't understand why he just can't gift her something without gifting himself something. That's, that's narcissism to me. That's narcissism. A lot of people out here saying I'm narcissistic, what the fuck ever, okay? I know what a narcissistic motherfucker is, and it's a person that always wants the attention on them, okay? This shit to get herself dirty, she just wanted to look pretty and narcissistic on a motherfucking day. For those that are quick to throw out the word narcissist, okay? 
I, I want people to truly look at the definition of narcissism, okay? Because a lot of people kind of get or are or are under the impression that being narcissist is like a bad thing. There are some good narcissists and there are some bad narcissists, okay? Because when you look at the definition definition of narcissism, let me get some goddamn wine, Tannis. They're about to work my nose tonight, goddamn it. <laughs> what is ask, ask yourself when you read the definition of narcissism narcissism is a person that's always you know thinking about themselves who values themselves who puts themselves above everybody else what is wrong with that what is wrong with that because somebody doesn't see themselves on the level as anybody else and yes they may have a bigger ego than most but what is truly wrong with that okay is there because I know you always hear it all the time. You know, you should have health, high self-esteem. You should be, you know, grateful. You should be loving. But then when you have these celebrities like Tamar, like goddamn Monica, or anybody else that we're talking about, Lena Dunham, who has the, just the boldness to put her pussy hairs out on the internet. And everybody wants to call that narcissism. But I get it. There are some narcissisms that narcissists that take it to another level. And then you have some that just genuinely tell themselves because the whole world is telling them they're not shit, okay? That, yes, I am a great person. Yes, I am the shit. Yes, I'm, I'm probably better than most people because this is the attitude you honestly need to have living in a competitive society, okay? So I don't really see the word narcissist as a bad thing unless you see a person misusing it, okay? And really just over -gloating and just, just boastful and just... You know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm better and I, I'm just shitting on other people. No, but you do have some people who genuinely just love themselves and put themselves, you know, and, and, and push themselves up, push themselves harder, put, you know, basically see themselves as better than other people, primarily because you have a world that tells you you're not, okay? So it's either one or the other. I don't see people that's in between, okay? I see people, especially if you want to be in the limelight, if you want to be a celebrity, you got to honestly tell yourself, I'm the shit. I'm the best. This, this should be about me because, honestly, you're in competition with yourself. And we all know that we have a lower self and a high self. And that lower self can really tell you some shit. You ain't shit. It's start listening to all the, uh, you know, comments out there. You know, you ain't shit. You ain't going to never be nothing. Look at you. You're ugly. You're too dark. That's why we got bitches uh, bleaching and everything like that. It's just people taking it to a whole nother level. But I don't see anything wrong with people being narcissistic or whatever as long as they're not affecting or damaging other people, okay? So just stop with that, all right? Just stop. Oh, I hate that word. People just use that word too loosely, not understanding exactly what it is. Now, oh, yes, Tamar is a good narcissist, okay? Because she's caring. I don't see her as a cutthroat stabbing bitches in the back. No. She saw a little insecurity, a little narcissism, all the above in Cat Williams because he mad that that light-skinned and ugly woman that looked just like this WikiLeaks mask. If all of your time is spent on fucking social media hashtagging your name, bitch, okay? Y'all want to talk about narcissism? A bitch that hashtags her, hashtags her name always looking to see who talking about me? So once a narcissist knows what narcissism is, they're going to use it to fool you to make you think that they're not. So what's going to happen if you tell the narcissist, hey man, you're a narcissist, hey lady, you're a narcissist. This is what's going to happen. Number one, they're going to research narcissism. Number two, they're going to get super mad at you. And number three, they're going to start to use the information that they find against you. Every time you have a fight, they're going to be like, oh yeah, this must be because I'm a narcissist, right? Or even worse, they're going to flip it around on you and call you the narcissist. Is it worth it to tell a narcissist they're a narcissist? No, it's not. The flying monkeys, <laughs> dynamic, uh... This is basically people who the narcissist has manipulated and tricked into believing that they are the victims, the dirty work for the narcissist, the one that goes out and uh, collects information, uh, spies on you, reports back to the narcissist. This is basically the narcissist flunky, in other words, and these individuals half the time don't know that they're being manipulated and used by the narcissist because the narcissist portrays themselves as the helpless victim that is just being persecuted by some ruthless, um, unfair person.
person. It is designed to ignite sympathy within the person who is being used as a flying monkey. The narcissist stays behind the scene. They get this person to defend them um, when they purposely go out and antagonize the other person and then come running back behind uh, their flying monkeys. Um, this is how they uh, use this, this tactic, basically, so that they can keep their hands clean and let other individuals do the dirty work, where they can always deny any involvement whatsoever when uh, the majority of the times, most of the times, they're the ones orchestrating the whole event and situation. Guess who the fuck Sweet Ma for Life is, y'all? Sweet Ma is exposing Tasha K off of Instagram. This is a strategy. It's looked at as a tactic. It's a strategy that they're trying to use to one-up someone, get over on someone, manipulate someone, control someone. And so from every point of interaction with a person, they're either looking at how can I manipulate this person? How can I get over on this person? How can I... Um, deceive or use this person to my benefit in some sort of way guess who the fuck sweet ma for life is y'all sweet ma is exposing tasha k off of instagram Anna simone i love you Ch the flying monkeys come into play with this because they are um completely blind to the fact that the very person that they're defending is the exact person that they should be trying to stay away from too. And this is why the narcissist will never allow you to come into contact with anyone that they are using as a flying monkey or support system. They keep them separate because when you two, if you two were to ever get together and begin to start comparing notes about this person. And to be honest with you, say, oh, I'm great. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm doing just well. And honestly, I promise you, it is the absolute opposite. Opposite. These individuals are never happy. I have my own fucking talent. Bitch! 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 That you have to understand and know that comes with dealing with these individuals. You become just as toxic. You know, it's it's like an infection. You know, and, you, and in order not to get infected, you have to stay away from these type of individuals. This whole situation is when, in a nutshell, the narcissist starts accusing you of doing things that they're doing. Or when they start throwing their traits and characteristics on you. And suddenly, now you're the liar. Now you're the one who stole something. You're the one who who's always doing this and that. So everything that they're doing, they're just throwing it on you. Okay? You cannot please. You cannot be a mom. Telling him to watch out for Tasha K. She starts making fun of Slavi T. Sickerfell, and I kind of went off. Next minute, you know, she brought up my son. You, but had a spell put on him? You think so? Oh, I don't know. Brittany Chanel, can you tell her sweet mom take him in the uh, bathroom with the shower running? Oh, I should do that? Okay. That'll help him? Okay. You want to see, Bubba? Okay. This is my miracle baby, y'all. If anybody wants to talk shit about a baby, I swear to God, I'll fly out to you and fucking whoop your fucking ass. Especially if you talk about mine. I don't give a fuck. I'll go under the jail, and I'll tell them to let me take my baby with me. You try me with my baby. Anyways. It was at that moment that Tasha K knew the only way to get to me and under my skin was to mention my miracle baby. Today she did something that hit a nerve. And when I tell you, I got so emotional. I, I said, I want to fly out to this bitch and whoop her fucking ass. All right, let me tell you what this bitch did today that made me want to go live. And I said, let me come to you guys and ask you if I should make a video um, exposing this. So anyways... This trash bag made um, yeah. her fuck me Friday today. And she mentioned something about an autistic child. Now, it, this touches me 
in a way that, okay, I have people in my family that are autistic, and my son is special needs, right? And I'm still coping with that. So the minute this bitch said something about Gucci Mane's sperm being, like, she said his sperm ain't shit. That's why his baby turned out to be underdeveloped and came out as an autistic child. I said, God, I never really hate anybody, but today I hate this bitch. I know what it feels like to have a special needs child, and you have too. God bless you. And I didn't want to talk about my son having special needs to anybody here because I know there are some haters that are watching and are probably laughing about it. But this shit ain't no fucking joke. It can happen to anyone. Okay? So the anger that I have right now, it's 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 coming from a, a mother, a single mother, that has to deal with this on her fucking own. And for Tasha to sit there and make fun, I don't give a fuck if she didn't listen. She made an apology yesterday saying that she would never talk about children, disabilities, or anything. But today she went on her fucking live and said that shit. And you better pray to God that your child doesn't come out with a disability. Karma is a motherfucking bitch, ho. I said to this person, don't you dare bring up my miracle baby. And a person decided to keep bringing up my son being sick on my live and coughing. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Can I return that money back to you? Now, let me tell you something. So I went on my live video and I did not put your name under the title. I did not do that. I didn't even tag you. So how did you find my video? How did you know that I made that fucking video? How the fuck did you know? You came on my video and you watched it. Three months later, I decide to hop on somebody's live, okay, that was talking about you. And I saw you talking about somebody's illness. You came on here to give me $100 for what? Why you give me $100 for my Amir? For me to buy my son some cough syrup? Huh? My son wasn't coughing on that live, bitch. The narcissist it becomes vengeful and full of rage and reacts to the victim. Girl. And when that bitch came into my <laughs> chat that didn't even have her name in the title and decided to donate me $130 to my son and said, go buy him some cough syrup. <laughs> but you gave it back though, right? Listen, I went to go give that her money back. And can you believe before my entire life was over, she took the 100 back? Talking about the narcissistic smear campaign. So what happens is the victim typically shuts down the narcissist because the narcissist has, for example, crossed certain boundaries. She was Why? Just, Why did she take it back anyway? What was her reason for taking it back? She was probably mad that Lovely T and Armand Wiggins came and shut her down. This is a strategy. It's looked at as a tactic. It's a strategy that they're trying to use to one-up someone, get over on someone, manipulate someone, control someone. And so from every point of interaction with a person, they're either looking at how can I manipulate this person? How can I get over on this person? How can I um, deceive or use this person to my benefit in some sort of way? I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some wine. Girl, I'm ready too. Let me have some. You didn't even toast me. You just gonna drink like that without mm, toasting mm, me? Mm, mm, you just gonna mm, drink mm, like that without mm, toasting me first? Mm, 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 mm. Talking about the narcissistic smear campaign. So what happens is the victim typically shuts down the narcissist because the narcissist has, for example, crossed certain boundaries. Mmm. I find out from her that she's having three hour conversations. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Tasha didn't say that. Tasha didn't flag my video. Tasha's not like that. Shout out to Candace, she didn't do that because I talked to her behind the scenes on a two hour phone call that is recorded that I feel bad for, but now I'm glad that I have it because I see that motherfuckers had ill intentions.
I would be less of a friend to sit on this and just watch this play out. I'm not going to allow that to come between me and somebody I consider a friend and a sister. You know, she get out of the hospital and then she makes a video. Tasha is a genuine person. I know a lot of people have been sliding in my DMs and sending me emails. You need to watch out for her. You need to not hang out with her. People lying on Tasha and saying that she got this woman to flag my video, that she's trying to take my channel down. Tasha would never do anything like that. And so I want the videos. I sent her the screenshot. I was like, girl, listen. <laughs> She, you know, we had that conversation. She said, I'm going to get on the video. If I got to tell everybody everything, the whole truth, I'm going to tell them the whole truth. I'm about to get on this live. And that's why she got on the live and told y'all what she wanted y'all to know. But she never said who flagged. She never said who did what. She didn't tell the whole truth. So I didn't watch the live until afterwards. After she got off the phone, she said she was going live. I couldn't watch her live. And then, you know, I didn't watch her live until after. She I sent her the screenshot. I was like, girl, listen. Uh, Star's talking about getting a lawyer about that video. I don't know, like, you know, man, I'm pissed. And if I need to get the recording, I will, if anybody says otherwise, okay? And this is why you had the video of her coming on camera crying. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. And I'm looking dead into the camera, and I'm telling you guys, please stop spreading those rumors. You know what's up. <laughs> you know. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. You know, she get out of the hospital and then she makes a video. Bradley show and writes, T made a whole live stream calling me a dark skin hoe. We were never friends. Told me to eat my food while she drinks illegal codeine all day. Shots fired. Tasha, you're a whole lie. Check out the next clip. I'm not saying nobody name. I never say nobody's name. I let them let let their mind wander, okay? These bitches know who they are. They're, they come in all ages. They're old hoes too. Sandpaper pussy having bitches. You know what I mean? Old hoes, young hoes, high yellow hoes, dark skin hoes. It, it, it's a it's a range of them. You pick. Now this is an important concept for you to understand because it should be a red flag for you. Anytime a person comes up to you, to you and starts painting a bad picture of a family member or an ex or whatever else. Understand that it may just be a selfish way to gain sympathy, your sympathy, thus bringing you as the third party into their triangulation. And it's also a good sign of what's going to happen to you in the future when they move on to somebody else and they'll be talking about you in that same way. Today I want to talk to you about narcissistic rage. You're probably familiar with it. Everything is going fine and then suddenly the narcissist in your life is raging and there's really no other word for it. Bitch! 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 I watched Tasha K. I thought she was so beautiful. I'm like, she's gorgeous. She looks like Sanaa Lathan and, and, and MC Light mixed in one ball. Like, I respected her. I like Tasha K. I like her look. I like the way she, you know, she just entertained us, right? No matter what I would say, always ignored. It didn't really dawn on me because I was like, okay, she's busy. She probably doesn't see my comments, but Tasha K doesn't have that many comments in her uh, Instagram feed, if you ask me. Like, she'll have a post up for about three days, and there'll only be like 20 comments on there. So, <laughs> I don't see how you missed my comment, baby. Anywho, you pick and choose who you want to respond to. That's fine. Stop. Let me get to the part of me exposing Sweet Mom for Life. You guys, you're going to be so shocked when I expose who Sweet Mom for Life really is. So, I was threatened that I would be exposed. And I want to let you guys know that I am about Tasha K and all the fuck shit she does. Sweet Mom for Life is exposing Tasha K. Sweet Mom for Life is that bitch that was able to keep a page exposing Tasha K for almost four months. I didn't think Tasha K had that many um, supporters, but she does, okay? No hate to you, Tasha. You got supporters, I know this. But guess what? I got some too. <laughs> I don't have as many as you, but I'd rather be who I am than to be somebody like you. That's so fucking evil, conniving. Tasha K, you lie on a lot of people. And the TKO will prove that. If you don't fuck with me because I fuck with Tracy, fuck the fuck off. 
of whatever beef she has with whoever the fuck she fucking has beef with. And yes, I'm an emotional person, but you see me on 10 right now. More like 100. I'm an emotional person, but if you fuck with me or people that I fuck with, I get like this. Bitch! 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 They were putting it in my head and I was trying to see it. I was Narcissists um, taking credit, 100% credit for uh, things that they may have put 10%. Uh, of their energy into or um, in some cases not at all they like to be validated Nar I love that idea surviving Tasha K yes because I started promoting TKO for the past month and a lot of people um, I guess caught on to it so now doing Tasha K TKO as if she's some kind of well, um a lot of people are calling her TKO now, and I'm like, I started that shit. Now you want to use it? Surviving TK is perfect. Thank you. Narcissists will even go through uh, the loop of uh, gaining uh, credit from things that, that, that they didn't even do. You're going to look stupid as fuck. You're going to look so dumb because of me. <laughs> really? Really, bitch? Really? She didn't do anything to me. And I don't give a fuck about her past on YouTube, whether she was being messy or not. She wasn't messy to me. That's what? I keep it in my head. Bitch, block. Is block me right now immediately. Run, girl. You in danger. Because if I'm a narcissist, eventually I'll have you eaten out of palm of my hands, and I will completely fuck you over when the time is right, okay? Bitch, fucking block. We don't play that shit over here. Because I'm not fake. I can't fake. And I was thinking to myself, what if these bitches come to my live chat and try to talk to me? How am I going to act? What am I going to do? What the fuck am I going to do if these fake bitches come try to talk to me? Now, let me tell you something. And I decided to come with this video to expose myself since they think that they're doing something by exposing me. Sweet Ma for Life is exposing Tasha K. Sweet Ma for Life does not fuck with Tasha K. Sweet Ma for Life does not like her period and yes i was trying to get her video taken down but her platform no i could have took her instagram page down she took both of my exposing tasha k pages down i never flagged her not once and i don't like her i never i'm sorry if i'm talking super loud but i never flagged tasha k i'm not trying to ruin your platform i'm just trying to expose the fucking truth you want to sit here and expose people with lies. I'm exposing you with the truth. With your own truth. That comes out your own fucking mouth. All I do is show people things that they did not see. You guys, she'll talk so fast that you guys miss out on a lot of stuff. So what exposing Tasha K was doing was pointing out the shit that she did. Okay? Period, point blank. So... Back to the bullshit. Tasha K is promoting a lot of people that are making videos supporting her. And these people come onto my platform, curse me out, tell me I'm crazy, tell me this and this and that. And I thought to myself, block a bitch, block a bitch, block, block, block. I don't give a fuck. I don't need you to be my friend. I don't need to be in no fucking YouTube gang as a fucking 35-year-old about to be 36 in, le in the next couple of weeks. I'm about to be 36 fucking years old. How embarrassing is it for a bitch to be about want to be in a YouTube game to go against motherfuckers calling me a motherfucking mean girl? Am I a mean girl? No. I'm mean because I'm exposing the truth? The fuck out of here. And if you think for one fucking moment, if you fucking think that you could read me better than I could read any of y'all motherfucking bitches, you got the wrong motherfucking one. Have you not paid attention to my videos on Tasha K? I will fucking get all the information that I need to on your motherfucking ass and make you shut the fuck up. I don't have to say no one of your motherfucking names. I respect every fucking body. There are some people that came out with some videos about me that have been very, very, very painful for me to watch. But guess what? I was respectful to them. So anyway, my mouth is dry. It's dry. Anyway, I made a mistake of allowing a freaking piece of shit to be part of my motherfucking life. Do I fucking tell people to fucking flag her page? No. People were hitting me up in the inbox telling me, let's start a movement. Let's shut her down. 
I never fucking flag the bitch. She could do what the fuck she do. You want to talk about disabled people, you want to talk about shit like that, bitch, I don't fuck with you. I don't rock with you. And you want to talk about Lovely T and her minions. Weren't you sucking Lovely T's pussy last couple of weeks ago? Like, last month? You were sucking her pussy? Now you sucking Tasha K's dick? What the fuck is wrong with you? Get the fuck out of here. Yes, I'm going to read you, bitch, without fucking saying your fucking name. Bitch! 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 <laughs> Nay, I know why. I know why, because I'm feeling exactly how you fucking feel. Fuck that bitch, you got to here. Fuck wants to take you in. Your sorry mother came onto your fucking live. What the fuck did you do? Your pussy was so wet. That shit was soaking me. I was soaked. You dumbass. With me. Don't fuck with me. Because I, yo, half of the motherfuckers here in this YouTube don't know my personal information. I'm saying, bitch, bitch, bitch. I'm saying, bitch, 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 bitch. Ass. You're fucking sorry ass and bitch. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. And I said, God bless that. Often it involves the most despicable things being said to other people for no reason anybody can even figure out. See, mom, been coming for Tasha K like she got a personal vendetta, so she's not exactly the victim either. No, K Love, no, she's not. That's why I say, I'm not saying she's innocent. She's not innocent. But at, Tasha K is the one who's getting dragged. Anything that they've ever done for you, they don't care if they stopped and, and, and walked you across the street. Better believe you're going to hear about it. That's just how they are. They want you to tell them after you've walked them across the street how, uh, how much, you know, it, had they not had they not walked you across the street, um, you, you, you probably wouldn't have made it across safely. I don't know. Y'all don't know any better. We don't, I don't have to brag with the church's money and never gave another YouTuber nothing to fucking fucking build off of nothing. She couldn't give me shit. She didn't give me nothing. You clearly see whose production skills and shit are better. We don't, I don't have to brag about that. I, I just like to show it. But I'm just saying, give back. If you really care, stop linking up with people just because they got hate for me. Just be a grown woman and sit in your hate. What we are witnessing right now is a straight up smear campaign. And this is what narcissists do when you inflict narcissistic injury upon them, which means that you are no longer feeding their ego. You have taken the stance and have set your boundaries. A person that is narcissist cannot handle that. You is the best motherfucking show. Reacting is not going to do any good. It's just going to draw you further into the game and it's just going to take you further down the rabbit hole. It's not fun for the narcissist if you don't react. That's the whole point. It's to draw you back in. It's to make you play the game. If you don't react, you're not giving them what they want and they can't win. And so when I see you in the comment sections, in the chat rooms, you know what I'm saying? Paying people to hate on me because you threaten. Because of what them views looking like, you know what I'm saying? The best way to deal with narcissistic rage is, of course, not to. No contact with narcissists will always be best. That's the first, last, and only recommendation. If this is not possible, master the art of not reacting. They victimize themselves to other people. They will play the poor me game. They will tell anyone and everyone they know who will listen how they have been wronged by you. They will make fiction seem like reality to others by turning their own self into someone that has been abused. So what are your plans for the new year? I don't plan to do much, but just to leave Tasha K back in 2018. I'm just done I with her know, bullshit. That's right, girl. She done drained the shit out of me and a lot of other people. We could go on and on and on, yeah. point out all her lies, but it's not even worth it. It's not. But I will say one thing. I learned how to play chess. <laughs> so, <that>. Checkmate, bitch. <laughs> so, symptoms of narcissism. Um, often a narcissist will exaggerate their own importance. 
they will make it seem like they're so important to everybody. They're a big deal. If I th see anything that's very, very important, and I'll read it out. Oh, you like the new look? Thank you. Thank you. I'm just, fle I'm just flexing a little bit on them. Just a little bit. Just light work, you know. Just doing a little something. I, I appreciate you guys, all 8,000 of you. And, and I do want to show that although I didn't plan to blow up on YouTube at this time, I do care. And I do feel a sense of responsibility about what I put out there, what I tell you guys, because I don't believe in misleading people. And I'll never lie to you. If, I want to point it out that unless you're a doctor, you can't diagnose anyone. I'm not diagnosing anyone. I'm not asking anyone to diagnose anyone. In fact, I'm saying the exact opposite. Don't diagnose people. I'm just giving you the signs to look for for your own protection. So if you run into someone that you believe is a narcissist, even if it's me, don't get caught up in their web. PK. I'm live right now, guys. Um, I need your help. I need your help. Um, Tasha K put my government information on all of her platforms, all of her platforms, all of her Instagram posts. Um, uh, she took it down on YouTube. She took it down on YouTube. Okay? Um, hey, this looks like I some need your support. Hurry shit. up, get in the room. I need your support. I need your support. <laughs> okay. Um, she put my government information on her YouTube, but she took it down and said that her husband made her take it down. She went back onto Instagram, reposted it on all of her Instagram pages, saying that she she this was a mistake. She reposted it like this is a repost, and she's going in on me, and all because I used her trademark in my my video. Carl C, I need your help. You guys, I feel like my life is at risk. My safety is at risk Good. because I made a video about Tasha K. I need help. Don't tell me to shush. Call the police. What do you mean shush? She's putting my, my personal my personal information all because I made a video regurgitating the shit that she already says. You're mad because of that? I need help. This makes absolutely no sense that somebody would be trying to ruin my fucking life over me reposting videos that comes out of her fucking mouth. You guys, help me go to her Instagram, flag those posts with my name on it. Not she has happen. over 400,000 subscribers. Not gonna happen. Bitch, it's a wrap for you. Look, this is like okay. I don't, I don't know why this is showing. Thank you so much, Mona. Thank you for coming. I, I just, listen, it is not okay for somebody to take your personal information and post it online, oh, what's wrong, knowing Diane? that she has all these followers. Do you think this is normal? Diane. Is this normal? And she says that I have a mental illness. Why? I have a mental illness because I was smart enough to keep track of all the lies and repost the lies. Are you that upset? Diane. With the truth? That now my life has to be at risk? Anybody that's watching this live right now, if any harm comes to me or my son, Latasha Kibi, that lives in Atlanta, Georgia, is at fault. Latasha Kibi, if anything happens to me, if anything happens to me, you are the one who's at fault. Remember that. You're lying. You're saying that I caused or, or I'm praying to the death of your child. Are you ridiculous? You made up this whole story. Because you probably want to use that at a later time to say that you lost your child because of me calling me a witch. Now you're posting this shit on, on all your platforms when you didn't even fucking post the, the, the freaking fund relief on either of the platforms. But now you're posting my personal information knowing that I have a fucking son and you're talking about, oh, wait, wait till I run out of disability checks. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you don't need to be on YouTube. If you're going to be doing shit like that and causing people this much stress, you're mad because I reposted shit that you said? No, bitch, now my life is at risk? Fuck off of YouTube, cry baby ass. This and shit makes ass. no sense. Yes, I inserted myself into this shit. I did. Exactly. Who else? Who? Listen, who else went that thorough with breaking the shit down? Who else did it? Did I had to do it. Reporter? Why? Because I'm trying to open your eyes. So if I have to die over some fucking fuck shit like this, Bye. that's what God wants. 
Don't think that, don't think that the power you think that you have is going to, 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 I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I'm, I'm just going to go, y'all. I just want to let you guys know Please go. that if anything happens to me, she's at fault. She put my information out there. She's at fault. The end. <laughs> hey, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you. Is block me right now immediately. Run, girl. You in danger. Because if I'm a narcissist, eventually I'll have you eaten out of the palm of my hands and I will completely fuck you over when the time is right, okay?